sensory input zapped by one of the more unusual computer challenge formats. Yes, it's semi-finals time again. As our regular devotees know perfectly well, and there must be dozens of you by now, we pit a team of teenagers against a pair of executives. But not today. As the final playoff nears, we have the two best six-form teams in a business game battle of galactic proportions. The winners will be back in two weeks for the final, whilst the losing pair will be ribbed like mad by their schoolmates until they all run away from home in despair. So, let's see who's going to end up with a stab of the Concord tickets and who is going to be consigned to utter humiliation. First from Avon College, Port Talbot, Richard Evans and Andrew Walters. Always so nice to welcome back familiar faces. What have you been doing since we last met, Richard? I've been on holiday on a canal barge on the Thames. Was that fun or? Well, most of the time. What was the high spot? Well, we almost rammed the steel and concrete barge that was in the river and almost sank our boat. So you almost would have been a traffic flash on Radio 1? Yeah. Not bad. And how about you, Andrew? Have you been away somewhere? Yeah, I've been away to Yalga. Spent a couple of weeks down there. How do you manage with the language? Uh, I didn't try. It's a little bit like Spanish with French bits. Yeah, it is a bit, you know. Sounds a lot like French, I think. Well, now that you're back, you are faced with the ultimate challenge. So, grit your steely nerves and put on your red headphones. And geared up to beat them to a frazzle, or perhaps to get frazzled themselves, from Cantonian High School Cardiff, Keith Robinson and Nina Kitheray. more familiar faces. This is really very pleasant. Keith, have you decided on what you're going to do when you leave school? Yes, I'd like to be an accountant. Working in the business field rather like the game? Yes, that's right. Do you ever play uh, computer games normally, Nina? I mean, do you do this kind of thing in your spare time? Oh, we've been in one business game uh, before. Did you win? Yes, yeah, we did. Really? Yeah. Are you going to win today? Oh, we'll see. <laughs> right. Everybody's got their fingers crossed for everybody. There's only two sets of fingers on each hand for four contestants, but we're all hoping that you all go away feeling happy and contented and play your best. So settle into the desk and put on those yellow headphones. Eighteen rounds for the whole game, as ever, and 30 seconds to make up your minds in each round. If you're ready, teams, the first round starts now. Yeah, Crawford, sir. Crawford, yeah, OK. Let's uh, keep the money for a while and just... Charge the computer. That's a very good start because they can earn monthly the income and still keep the fifty thousand pounds cash intact. Oh dear. Oh dear indeed, Nina. You couldn't wish for a better semi-final. The result could go either way. I can't wait to get out of this little cubicle and see what happens. Put a bit more in oil. <laughs> right. I'd say you're right. This is gonna be it. Okay. The end is nice. It's going to be good. All right. Chance to get back into the glimmery daylight again. And everything is still pretty neck and neck. Now, of course, it's the uh, revaluation at the end of the 18th month. And now that awful moment, whilst we wait to see if any shares are due to crash. First of all, Avon College, Port Talbot. Uh -oh. $40,000 off banking. Now they will sell their remaining shareholdings and that will give us their total score at the end of this first semi-final. Oh. Over a million. Well, over a million is always a good score in this game. But let's see if Cantonian are going to beat that. First of all, are any of their shares due to crash? Oh, It'll be close. Oh, I look at like this. A hundred thousand pounds off property. Now they'll sell all their remaining shareholdings and that'll give us their final total. <laughs> I don't want to know. We won. We never. So the winners by a whisker are Cantonian High School Cardiff. Mm. So commiserations, Port Talbot. That was very, very close. You missed out just at the very end. And congratulations to Keith and Nina. You didn't know who was going to win till the very end, did you? No, no, no. Very close. That's another one you've won, Nina. <laughs> OK, well, we'll see you both in a fortnight for the big Grand Smash playoff. All the very best. Come back and join us next week when our two teams of executives, the winners of the previous games in the series, 
we'll also be battling it out. And don't forget, of course, to join me in two weeks' time for the final. Till next week, from us all here, goodbye.